Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to construct the Tilly bracelet. Now, this bracelet uses a sort of chainmail like weave, um, although it's very simple and open, as you can see. And I've added the crystallettes in between each, and I'm going to show you how to do that and how to attach the clasp. So, you'll get a basic overview on how to construct this bracelet in this video. So, what we're going to need is we're going to need a four loop tube clasp. I have five millimeter 21 gauge jump rings. And then I also have four millimeter 20 gauge jump rings. I have two different colors of crystallettes. And I have a couple pair of chain nose pliers. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll see with the bracelet, actually, I want to kind of go over what, what I'm going to be doing here just to give you a little idea. So there's links here. So you can do those separately and then link them together, or you can work as you go. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay. So for each row, you're going to need four of the five millimeter 21 gauge jump rings and go ahead and take your pliers. And we're just going to open that first jump ring there. And I'm going to loop on one of my green crystallettes right onto the back there and close that jump ring. Now what I'm going to do is take another jump ring, open that up, and I'm going to pick up the crystallette that already has the jump ring on it, and I'm going to thread it through that top portion right there. But before I close it, I'm going to add on a crystal crystallette, just like so, and then I'm going to sneak my pliers in there and close up that jump ring. So you start to get a little bit, let me just set it down here for you, start to get that little bit of chain kind of developing. Okay. So now I'm just going to flip my work over again, pick up another jump ring. Go ahead and open that up. And now I'm going to add it to the back of the crystal jump ring on the crystal color there. And I'm going to add on a green crystallette, like so, and go ahead and close that up. And then one final jump ring here. I'm just going to open that up and add it to the green crystallette to the top there. And what this will do is this will help stabilize that last crystallette so that it doesn't sort of flop forward. Make sure your jump rings are nice and sealed there. Okay, so that is sort of one row. So I'm going to do that again and I'm just going to alternate my colors. So again, just take four of the five millimeter 21 gauge jump rings. Go ahead and open that first one. And now I'm going to use a crystal, crystallette to start. Close that up. Open another jump ring. Slip it onto the other side there. Slip on a green crystallette. And close that up. Sometimes it helps to lay your work down and keep it all going the same way, especially with chain mail, you'll notice that it's easier to see the pattern when you're not holding on to it, which I know can be difficult, but it does make it a lot easier. So there's my other jump ring and I'm going to be adding a crystal one to that. And for my final jump ring, I'm just going to add it to the top of that one. Okay, so these are two little kind of columns, if you want to think of them that way. 
So now, as you can see, let me bring my other bracelet in here, you can create various different patterns with the color of crystalettes or studs that you're going to be using. But basically, these are going to be the columns. Now you can make all of your columns in a row and figure out how long you want your bracelet and then go back and attach them all together or you can kind of attach them as you go. So I'm gonna show you how to attach these two links here. So I'm going to need four of my four millimeter 20 gauge jump rings. So go ahead and take one jump ring and open it up. Now, you'll notice that there's four jump rings and I have four jump rings here, so you guessed it, we're just gonna attach them just right across the row there. And the first one is a little tricky because you just gotta get it to lay right. So just go ahead and take that jump ring and you're gonna pick up the two ends, just like so. And go ahead and close that jump ring, again, making sure it has a nice seal on it. And you'll see when I put it down that they're kind of next to each other there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next one and you'll start to see it develop a little bit further. So now you're going to loop it on that second jump ring there on both columns. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna try to lay it down just to show you. And you can see how my jump rings are just sort of attaching that column. So I'm gonna do these last two really quick. Looping both of those jump rings. And for my final one here, it will finish those two columns. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna lay this down to show you kind of what we have done so you can see it just a little bit better. Okay. So you'll notice that we have our four jump rings here in the center and the four on the outside with our crystalettes. And if you create another column, you'll just link them again with the smaller jump rings and you'll just kind of keep going and it'll give it that nice little look just like that. But I do want to show you quickly how to attach the clasp because once you've got your desired length, this will be the final step. So again, go ahead and take four of your 20 gauge four millimeter jump rings. Go ahead and open these guys up. And if you want, since you are doing chain mail, you can always pre-open all of your jump rings. Um, sometimes that can help uh, with the speed of your project. So I have that top one there, and I'm just gonna put it in that top loop there. And close that up. And you just sort of attach the clasp as though you were attaching a whole other column. So it's very simple. And you're just gonna loop, loop it on, oops. Let's see if I can try to hold this. I recommend adding your clasp last because otherwise you'll have the same issue I'm having with just kind of holding it. So you gotta get that jump ring there and then catch that loop right there. And now you can close that jump ring. This is where the bent chain nose pliers really come in handy. If you don't have a pair of these uh, to do chain mail, I highly recommend it. You'll be able to find all of the supplies in the notes below in case you're interested on where you can get these, all of them are available at betaholik.com. So go ahead and loop that last one, or that third one, I'm sorry, into that third jump ring there. 
and just close that up. All right, and my last one here. Let me try to show this for you. Get my hands out of the way. Okay, so I have, I'm attaching this loop to that jump ring. So I'll go and catch that. And, oops, lost my jump ring. And up through that ring there. All right. Just close it up. And there you go. So that is the start of your bracelet. As you can see, all the jump rings kind of separate themselves. So if you keep going, you'll be able to create that really cool, fun look and definitely uh, explore the colors that we have of the crystallettes. You'll find that we have a lot of different options. We have little spikes and little studs as well to help you create a unique look. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, you can find all of these supplies at bitaholik.com.